Hey guys, it's Fusion Timmy here, and welcome to a Dragon Blocks Ultimate video. And I have made a how to level up video like before, but it was a it was a long time ago. Back when the game was called Dragon Ball Ultimate, the map was completely different. They've added like I think two more bosses since. Maybe I'm wrong, but anyways, I'm gonna be teaching all the noobs how to get super strong in this game. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, look at my stats. Okay, I'm not the strongest player in the game, but this was all by hand. I got, oh, pretty much I have 78 rebirths, but I haven't rebirthed yet. I'm just stack grinding. I got really tired of rebirthing. I'll make a rebirthing video in the future, but now I'm going to teach you how to get stats like this. And it's, it's honestly, it's going to take a lot of hard work and dedication. But I'm sure if you play this game, you're already ready for that. Are you serious? Okay, guys, so I'm back. I ended up disconnecting, as you guys just saw. But anyways... Pretty much, I'm going to teach you how to get stats just like this, and it is going to take time, but I'm going to teach you the exact steps you have to do to get them, and it's going to be up to you to put in the time and effort. So, you're not going to get, like, billions of stats right off the bat. You're going to start off probably with, let's just say, you've got two or three rebirths, and maybe you've got, like, a couple million, let's say you've got two to three million or so. Well, here's the deal, here's the deal. Now, they've added this new option that makes things much, much easier. If you hit menu and you go to quest guide, it's usually automatically activated. You can deactivate it or activate it. But what it does is it tells you the exact boss you should be fighting. So, like, for me, it's Vegito, but I'm not going to go all the way over there. But if I went to Vegito, that is the strongest boss in the game. That is the one that I'm supposed to be grinding. Now you, let's just say, like I said, two or three revs, you might have just rebirthed. When you first rebirth, you probably start off with Kid Gohan or so, and you just slowly work your way up. Now what I do, here's what I do. I'm not going to make an all bosses video, but I like to try and go for like one boss above what I usually am able to do. So you need to get at least like, I believe it's 10 to 25% of the damage to actually make it count. So let's just say you're going to try and do like X fighters or something. You can get it, you can get, like do the X-Fires for a bit until you're able to do Kid Gohan or so. And even if you can't fully kill Kid Gohan, if you can do at least 10% of the damage, your friend can do the rest. And then when that happens, it counts automatically and slowly you'll get stronger. And then you just keep doing that. It might be like next you can do, this is probably not accurate, but you could do, let's just say you do Super Saiyan 2 Goku. There you go. Or let's say you're on Super Saiyan 2 Goku level, you can go to the Kaioken Master with a friend. You don't have to kill the boss, you just have to um, do a good amount of damage to it. If you can do at least 25%, I believe, there you go. You will get the, you will get the points counted, you just need a friend to help you. Um, I'll be right back when I find the bosses I'm looking for. Okay, so here we go, we're at Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Um, I want to go and get one thing out of the way for a lot of noobs. A lot of noobs think, okay, I've got 5 rebirths, I just got MUI. Here's MUI. You get this at 5 revs, and you probably think, man, this was a long journey. Okay, now that I got this, I'm never going to rebirth again, and I'm just going to build my stats. At first, it sounds like a good idea, but in actuality, it's going to slow you down a ton. Because rebirthing is incredibly overpowered when you actually put your time into doing it. And as you see, I've only got like 78 rebirths, and I was playing for months. Even with talents. If you don't know what talents are, let's see if they have them in the shop. Um, talents are basically, here we go, strength talent, energy talent, speed talent, defense talent. What these do is they give you double XP from each and every boss. So let's just say I do Goku real quick. I would get double the amount of stats from him that I would normally. And that goes for anyone and it's forever. There is also, let's just say you do get talents and you want to get even more OP, you can buy these little double XP things for I believe it's like, I, I think it's like 150 Robux. If I remember correctly, they're not really worth it, but if you want to, there you go. And essentially, what you what your goal should be, if you really want to get strong, is you should be getting to that stat requirement as you go. So yeah, if I got a rebirth right here, I need 233 million, and I've already got way past that. I'm in the billions now. But let's just say you get the stat requirement that you need. You just want to keep rebirthing over and over and over. Um. There used to be a way to fusion glitch with people and you could just take their stats and do a boss while they do a boss. But the thing is, that's been patched. But there is another way. So if you fuse with your friend and you get their power and they'll AFK for you, like they'll just go take it, like I don't know, eat a sandwich or something. There you go. You can just start grinding that way. While they're eating, you have their power and you can start doing their, like, 
just the strongest boss you can possibly do. But there is stat requirements for bosses now. You have to be like a certain level, I'm pretty sure. I haven't had to deal with this yet, but that's another reason why I haven't been rebirthing because it's, it's a kind of annoying process. You have to keep building yourself back up. But once you build yourself up so much, you don't really have to rebirth unless you want to. Like me, my main goal was just to become pretty strong, and now I can get like a billion in an hour or so, which is really good because it usually takes like people that have 8 to 20 rebirths, it usually takes them days of full, like full days of grinding to actually get even a billion. And I have 3 billion over here and I was barely even trying. So that's my point. It gets easier and easier as you rebirth because you get more and more stats from each and every boss. Um, I'll make an actual rebirth guide video next. But there you guys go. That's really all you have to do in this game. It's best to have a friend if you can meet some friends or gain some friends any way you can. Whether joining a clan, meeting some person in the game, whatever you have to do. If you do that, it will make your pro like the process an entire like way easier okay just way way easier try and get a friend if you can't get a friend just play the game the normal way go with where the quest guide tells you and just slowly work your way up until eventually you're strong enough to just keep rebirthing on your own now you guys as like a continuation of this if you want to know how to like rebirth incredibly fast this is just how to level up fast if you want to rebirth incredibly fast i want to make another guide because it's a it's a pretty difficult because it's, it's hard at the beginning, but it gets easier in the end. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more Dragon Ball Ultimate or other Roblox games, please drop a like. Tell me what you want to see in the comments. Honestly, just subscribing helps a lot. And uh, I'm going to keep making videos like this. I've already got a ton of other ones on the channel. So if this was helpful, go check them out. All right, I got you. I, I'm one of the best YouTubers on Dragon Ball Ultimate right now. Or Dragon Blocks Ultimate, my bad. Okay, you get the point. It used to be Dragon Ball Ultimate for a long time. But, anyways, Future Timmy, signing out.